Welcome back to Escapement and Watch. Falling Titan here thanking Kavar Jewelers for lending this watch into the channel. And if you want to buy this watch, email me in the description below and I'll give you a discount code. Now let's begin introducing the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical in white. And look at this gorgeous field watch. This watch is definitely special. From a brand like Hamilton, Hamilton was formed in 1892, a brand with a ton of pedigree. You can be proud to own a Hamilton. They were American, but now owned by the Swatch Group. So now they are Swiss made, but they had a huge part in American history and they definitely helped in World War I and World War II. They even stopped making watches for civilians and only focused on military. So they were a dedicated company to their country. And when the Vietnam War began in 1955, I believe, all the way to the 70s, that's when the khaki field originated from. That's where this watch gets its design cues. It is inspired by those Vietnam watches. So it definitely has some military DNA with a no-nonsense, tough-as-nails look to it. And the case is completely bead-blasted with a nice non-reflective satin finish. It looks amazing, industrial and tough throughout. We have drilled lugs, gentle curvature to those lugs. And the lug to lug looks a little bit long. We're gonna check that out later. There is no bezel. It is just milled in a shape of a bezel. So it's all one piece and the crystal is pressed directly into the case and there is a case back. So technically it's a two piece watch, which should help with water resistance, but we only have 50 meters of water resistance, non screw down crown here, but it's a nice, healthy 6.3 mil crown, easy to grip, easy to operate and listen to this. Sorry guys, <laughs> the watch is full and you can't overwind these. <laughs> so the, <laughs> so this being a true mechanical, you get that nice, clicky, mechanical, pleasurable wind. It is addicting. It helps connect you with your watch every morning. You sit and you wind it. And it's definitely an experience. It takes you back to the olden days. I have one mechanical, my Stoa, and I love it. And this one definitely calling to me. Big fan of this watch. I've been wearing it more than I'm allowed to wear review units, but... Uh, yeah, I really like it. Now the measurements. I got 38.3 in diameter. Thickness of 9.5, but I measured it with the NATO. So 12 millimeters even. Okay, so it's an ultra thin NATO and still at 12 millimeters, it's still ultra thin. Double domed sapphire crystal with AR, doing pretty good in the studio lighting no distortion and the lug to lug of 47.2 so pretty long for a 38 millimeter so definitely going to wear a little bit larger than its size indicates so be wary of that this one comes on a beautiful nato strap with leather keepers and leather reinforced holes signed hamilton buckle right there and it just feels great is really thin and it really matches the watch. It's in a beautiful army green or khaki green. I have a, I have a pair of khakis this exact color. So I'm a fan of this color for sure. But this watch is just gonna devour straps. Whatever you throw at it, it's gonna look phenomenal. The case back is solid. Let me move this out of the way. Just has the vintage engraved H. Would have been nice to see the movement, but it's okay for a field watch. Now let's check out the dial in hand, a beautiful flat white with high contrast black Arabics and the Arabics are printed, but they are raised slightly. So it's a thick application of the paint cleanly done. We have the military time in the inner track and faux patina, creamy old radium, super luminova. And I think it's well done here. It looks fantastic. Just the right amount of patina not too dark and orangey, and it suits it well. Very minimal text, it just says Hamilton on the dial. That's it. Well, Swiss made at the bottom, but K 
can we really count that? It's so well hidden. Rolex could learn a thing or two from Hamilton, okay? Rolex nowadays, they put, they put the encyclopedia at the bottom <laughs> and even at the top beside their crown. Now the price. This one can be had for 495 USD. Definitely a bargain for a Swiss made watch from a brand like Hamilton with tons of pedigree and a huge military heritage. You're getting authenticity with this watch. There's a ton of field watches, a lot of micros making them, but in reality, ah, it's tough to compete. When you think field watches, you think Hamilton, and I think, I think they're the ones to get in the field watch category. Also, Hamilton is known for being the movie watch, and actually this one was in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie of 2020. So that's very cool, keeping that tradition alive. Let's check it out next to an SKX. All right, get in the truck. Really? You're gonna help me? I guess it is a little bit my fault that all this is happening to you. Not a little bit, entirely. All right, there you go. 38 versus 42, but a longer lug to lug on the hammy. A lot thinner on the hammy. And there you can see <laughs> how flat in nature this watch is. That might bug some people, that might attract you to the watch. You just want a watch that disappears on the wrist. It's a perfect everyday watch. It's not flashy. It doesn't get attention. It doesn't make people look. It's just your watch, a simple timekeeper. Time only, no date, beautiful timepiece. And there's something to be said about that. Okay, here he is on my 6.5 inch wrist. Look at that, it wears fan. Fantastic, ultra thin profile, pretty comfortable, feels really light. Can't wait to check out the weight and look at the thinness right there. Disappears on the wrist. Excellent. Let's check him out on the time grapher. This one is the H50 mechanical based on the ETA 2801-2 and this one has been slowed down from 288 to 21.6 VPH. A little bit disappointing for me seeing that jagged sweep three hertz, but it has 80 hours of power reserve, 17 joules hack and hand winding. So 80 hours of power reserve. I'm usually not a big fan of long power reserve because I have many watches. It doesn't matter too much to me, but for a mechanical watch that's not automatic, it's very important actually. And I think it's great to have a long power reserve, but look at these numbers. Three, two, 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 two more rounds. 303 amplitude, a lot of beat air at 0 0.5, but the rate, you can't complain, plus three. And the eighth and final round, plus three. All right, doing great. Now let's do 12 down. This one should perform nicely. Yep, three seconds a day. We did get a dip in amplitude, 273. Now, ooh, the B error increased to 0 0.7 milliseconds. Now, it looks like a huge number. Haven't seen that big on the channel before, I believe. That's a record. Correct me, guys, <laughs> if I'm wrong. But you want to start worrying about, they say above 0.4, but look at these numbers. Three seconds, eight seconds, four seconds, now five seconds. So a little bit wavy there, but okay, looks to be settling. Staying at five this time. Five, five. Oh, now we got a drop in amplitude, 245, and the rate went down to four. Amplitude dropped again. Beat air increased. Whoa, to 0 0.8. I think we should start worrying maybe at one. Okay, beat air got better now, 0 0.7. The rate got better, uh, sorry, three seconds a day. And the eighth and final round, three seconds a day. Wow, very consistent. Good job, Hamilton. Okay, there is a Loom Shot Old Radium C3 Super Luminova. It's not bad, it's not the greatest. I would say it's decent, maybe, maybe a little bit below average, but we have Loom Pips on all the indices and the hands are brightly loomed, those beautiful syringe hands. Compare it with my Seiko, just, there you go. All right, so definitely not the greatest loom, 
but it works. Here he is in the low light situation. Look at that legibility. We got the stark white dial, black hands, black Arabics. So the contrast is easy to read, perfect for a military watch. There's a ton of field watches out there, but are they as authentic as this 99% of the time? The answer is no. So if you want a field watch, you get this and it's Swiss made and affordable. And it's beautifully done in my opinion. If you like watches that have a tool vibe, no nonsense look, this one is definitely the watch for you. It is a great everyday piece. And with the 80 hour power reserve, it's gonna be easier to live with. Let me know what you guys think about the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.